Thanks very much. Let me uh, <clears throat> welcome Dr. Rani back here and thank her for all of her good work in Rhode Island. Um, Dr. Rani, did you have occasion in the emergency rooms of Rhode Island to treat gunshot patients? I did. And did you uh, have occasion to um, observe the difference between gunshot injuries from what you might call regular ammunition versus gunshot injuries from essentially weapons of war where the projectile, the bullet, travels at particularly high speed uh, so as it hits the human body. It's difficult to know in the emergency department what type of ammunition is used. I've, we have seen an increasing number of patients with multiple gunshot wounds at once, um, which is obviously much more difficult to save. What are the... Um, What is the experience like of um, the ambulance pulling up into the bay and somebody coming into your hands with uh, gunshot wounds, particularly multiple gunshot wounds, and perhaps, if you can identify it, even high-speed projectile AR-15 type gunshot wounds? So when we get an alert from EMS that they're coming in with a gunshot wound, which we often but not always do, uh, we mobilize not just emergency physicians, um, but also trauma surgeons, social workers, medical students, respiratory therapists, and so on. So there's radiology techs. There's somewhere between 15 and 20 folks who go into a room. We mobilize blood supplies um, in order to have that at the ready. Um, bring a lot of different equipment ranging from chest tubes to um, the tools that we use to crack a chest if needed um, and have these standard algorithms that we follow as we take care of a patient. Uh, sometimes those are successful. Um, often they are not. Uh, the likelihood of saving someone's life depends on both where they are shot and how many times they are shot. Um, I have seen, again, although I cannot identify types of ammunition or types of firearms in the emergency department, that's not my training, and we don't know that at the time, um, I have seen uh, organs shredded, um, aortas bisected, um, and obviously have, have seen folks um, with uh, gunshots to the brain um, as well. Uh, suffice it to say that um, knife wounds and beating injuries are customarily easier to treat than uh, gunshot wounds, and particularly multiple gunshot wounds? That is correct. Um, I'll also say that uh, another senator made a point about suicide. Um, most suicide attempts we can also save. Um, suicide attempts by a firearm are almost universally lethal. And um, not to belabor the point too much, but have you ever witnessed multiple injuries by musket, which was the uh, firearm of choice uh, at the time the Second Amendment was drafted. I don't know that I've ever seen a musket wound. Yeah. And I think um, the founders may well have had enough common sense to understand that in the time it takes to reload a musket, um, if somebody were going berserk in a tavern, uh, or at a musical performance, there'd be plenty of time to intervene. And that something categorically different takes place when an individual has access to weapons that either are or can be configured to fire rapid fire and to fire ammunition of an entirely different and more destructive nature because of the speed with which the projectile flies. So thank you for being here. So sorry we lost you to our uh, Connecticut neighbors, um, but thank you for your service in Rhode Island, and I'm glad you still tell everybody that you're a Rhode Islander. Still my, still my home address, sir. <laughs> thank you.